Hey everyone, this week we are going to be finishing up our work with the Arkansas Diamond Book nominees, and we're even going to vote for the award today. There are lots of different kinds of awards that are given for picture books and chapter books for children in the United States, and some of them are pictured on this slide. The Newbery Medal is given for the best chapter book of the year. The Caldecott Medal is given for the picture book with the coolest illustrations. The Coretta Scott King book is given for a picture book or a chapter book that has characters that are Black Americans. And the Belle Prey Medal is given for the same kind of thing, a chapter book or a picture book with Hispanic characters. The Schneider Family Book Award is given for books with characters that are suffering from some kind of disability in a courageous way. And then the Prince Award are for characters also Hispanic, and these books are more for older kids. But in our library, if you see an award on a book, it may possibly be one of these. These are the ones that we see the most often. And all of these are given by adults. Adults read the books, adults choose the winners. The Arkansas Diamond Award is kind of special because although grown-ups do make the lists, children all over Arkansas in elementary schools read the books on the lists and then children are the ones who will vote and decide which book will get the prestigious Arkansas Diamond Award. The reason it's called a Diamond Award is because Arkansas is the only state that has a state park that is actually a diamond mine. That's pretty cool. Billions of years ago, the spot where this park is was a volcanic vent. Yeah, and because of the way the soil was pressed together for so long, the pressure and the type of soil it was over billions of years, caused diamonds to form. Big bulldozers go out and turn the dirt over every once in a while. And the cool thing is families can go there, dig in the dirt, and if you find a diamond, you get to keep it. There's also other things you can find like quartz and crystals. It's just a fun way to spend a day, but that's why we call it the Diamond Award. Again, children all over Arkansas, just like us, have been reading the Diamond Award books on the list this year. The people that make the list put a variety of genres on the list so that we would have lots of things to choose from. Some of the books were fiction, that means make-believe. Some were nonfiction, those were true stories. Others were biographies, that's a true story about someone's life, and then some were poetry books. These are some of the past winners of the Arkansas Diamond Award, which began in 1999. On these slides, if I have a star on the book, that means Woodrow Cummins Library owns that book. All right, let's begin flipping through all of these winning books. Maybe you're starting to recognize a few here and there. You may have even checked out some of these books before. And there's the winner from last year, Creepy Pair of Underwear. I know a lot of you have checked that one out. But this year, 2021, we don't have a winner yet. So we'd better keep moving and get busy. Today, we are going to vote on your favorite of all the Arkansas Diamond books that we've been reading. And we have a couple, at least one or two, that we're going to read today. Just for a moment, I'm going to review the ones that we have read to help you remember what they were about, because it's been a month or so. Goldfish on Vacation was the fiction book based on a true story of a real fountain in New York City. In this story, the children were bored one summer until they found out that the fountain was going to accept tons and tons of goldfish friends for a little swim in the summertime. The Hugely Woogely Spider was the story about the frustrated guy who wanted to climb up the water spout, but he couldn't fit inside. So instead, he climbed on the outside of the spout to the top 
and ended up saving his little friends from being washed away. There's a Dinosaur on the 13th floor was the book about Mr. Snore, and he just wanted a place to sleep for the night. But he went from bed to bed on floor after floor, and it was really hard to find a quiet place to sleep in this hotel. Wordy Birdie is about the bird who just never listened. She was too busy talking. Fortunately, when she met up with a big scary bear, her friends were there to save the day. Giraffe Problems was the story of a giraffe who did not like his long, long bendy neck. He was really upset about it. And then a friend gave him a new perspective, a new way to look at it that made him feel lots better. Doll E 1.0 was the story of the little girl who got a new doll and she wasn't quite sure what to do with it. She was used to playing with tools and gadgets and her computer. Well, when her dog got a hold of her doll and tore it up, luckily she had the skills to put that doll back together and it was even better than before. The Rough Patch, some of you may have not read this one yet. We're going to read it today in some classes. The Rough Patch is about a fox named Evan who had a beloved dog and a wonderful garden. When tragedy happens, the fox isn't sure how to go on. Will he be sad forever or will he be able to find happiness again? That's the question. Dear Substitute is also one we'll listen to today. It's a poetry book about a little girl who is kind of shook up one day when her teacher doesn't come to school. Hmm, without any warning, there's a substitute instead. And the substitute doesn't do things quite like the regular teacher. Will the girl be able to handle it? Hmm, we'll find out. These are some of the books that the third and fourth graders have read this year. The United States versus Jackie Robinson was the basis for one of our research projects early on. And we also read Sisters and Champions right around New Year's Day. And it helped us think about the goals that we want to set for our own lives. Chester Nez and the Unbreakable Code is one that we didn't get to with our third and fourth graders, but it is in your seesaw this week if you would like to listen to it. And there's also a game about secret codes from National Geographic Kids in Seesaw to go along with it. Okay, there they are. The 11 Diamond nominees for 2020-2021. And we will be voting on these today.